there is an easier way to pack and carry on suitcase for a trip. I'm going to show you travel tips to help you pack those outfits in your bag with these easier steps. The first easier way to pack a carry-on bag is to lay out your outfits like I did. I laid out my airport outfit, clothes to lounge around in, and I also am gonna show you my travel outfit for the return trip that I wore a cardigan sweater with as well as packing my fleece. And the next step is to have a dog named Ollie help you pack all of your essentials. I can wear the patterned nice shirt with the white shorts, as well as with my denim capris that I wore in the airport. I could also wear that sleeveless black shirt with those jeans if necessary. A second easier way to pack a carry-on is to really use the space between the bars of the suitcase handle when they're pushed down into your carry-on bag. A travel hack is to use an old Amazon bag and then pack your shoes in there as a shoe bag to protect your other travel essentials from getting dirty. Then you can see that I also packed my pool bag. It can get wet, but I really use it to carry all of my pool or beachside essentials, like a real book, my reading glasses, a key card, credit card, my Yeti sometimes, if I wanna use that to have my fruity drink in to keep it colder longer. I used to just use a pouch, but the phones got bigger and bigger, and then I wanted to take more things down to the beach. I found these newer bags, which also have an outside pocket in and a pocket if you do need to put something wet, like a wet swimsuit in there for a little bit. Now see how I packed two shirts to go along with each pair of shorts? I'm gonna show you more outfits in a bit. You can pack using the rolling method or just fold your clothes like I do. I folded the shirts and the shorts and notice how I packed the tunic since it's a seven hour flight back home from Hawaii. As a pilot wife flying standby, we cannot wear leggings as pants. So that tunic has to be long enough. So I've got that packed in there. And then I'm going to make the leggings fold again at the end so that I can make my stack be even all the way across the top when I fold my clothes. I don't want it to be lopsided or have big lumps in it. Then I just start folding the outfits together. The turquoise and the royal blue t-shirt can be worn with the white shorts. If you do not wear shorts anymore, then use my idea of white shorts and pack white denim capris, a white skort with a small neutral pattern in it that still makes it look white. I knew this beach trip was going to be a lot of casual walking around, walking at night, hiking maybe. <laughs> at my level. So I wanted to have a lot of active wear shorts. I have two shorts, two shirts, and then this green shirt is long enough to wear with leggings if I wanna go out one morning somewhere with leggings on. I'm gonna show you the difference between packing clothes in a compression cube and packing them in a regular packing cube. I used regular packing cubes for years and they did just fine. If you don't need the extra space in your carry-on suitcase, then you don't need compression cubes. But I chose this six piece set because I got two large cubes in it and it saves me a lot. It opens up a lot of space in my suitcase. I also split up the bottom pieces because the bulkier items tend to be shorts, joggers, or capris that I'm going to pack in my carry-on suitcase and they hog up all the space. Now I am going to be comparing my soft-sided suitcase to hard, hard shelled suitcases for carry-on. I do not love the hard shell yet, but I actually do like that there are two sides to pack clothes in. After packing two large cubes in one side of my suitcase, you can see that I have a little bit of space still at the end, and we're going to fill that up with another easy way to pack. And the next step is to pack those pouches and other travel essentials in the empty pockets of space. A travel hat for packing makeup is to divide your makeup case into smaller pouches because they can squish and smush. Another travel hack is if you are writing out a packing list, you may want to make one section be just for liquids. It helps you decide which things you don't need to put in your pouches and keep track mentally of that time of day I'm going to use liquids or those products. If you do need tips on the TSA rules for liquids, I will link a video in the description box below for you. For my YouTube conference that I'm going to in Las Vegas, I am packing my toiletry hanging bag because I am gonna be there for four or five days and go straight to Phoenix for a family reunion. They make this in aqua now, but I have the gray 
ones, so I don't need the aqua, but it comes in a three piece set of toiletry item essential uh, pouches. I love them. I think I may be the Tripped Brands number one fan. <laughs> Another easy way to pack in a carry-on suitcase is to pack underneath those packing cubes or underneath the clothes that you're going to pack if you don't use the cubes. See how I have my curling iron in one side and then I can also snuggle, snuggle? <laughs> kind of squish and smush those pouches under the corners where they might come up from the compression or along the corners of your carry-on suitcase. A TSA question I get asked a lot is, are curling irons and curling wands allowed in your carry-on suitcase? Yes, they are. You can pack them anywhere you want. I do not protect the curling iron barrel from heat, but you can buy those little quilted ones that I have. I'll link them below. Now, another easy way to pack is to use your bag's organization that it already provides for you. Look at those pockets and see how can you fit something in that you normally wouldn't pack there. What can you pack in this flat pocket right here in my new suitcase? I pack my roll-up slippers that are supposed to be in this shape, taking up that much space. I unroll them so that I can pack them flat in this pocket. And no, for all of you people who worry about germs and dirt, I am not using a bag for my shoes in that section <laughs> or my tennis shoes later on, but it's okay. I have tasted and touched enough dirt in my life that I have a great immune system and I'm not afraid to touch germs sometimes. And so I also put my other really flat sandals. Another travel hack is to pack only a little bit of your shampoo in the travel size containers. The reason it's a hack is so that on the last day of your wonderful vacation again, you can rinse it out and just throw it in your suitcase or your personal item bag and not have to pack it in that liquids bag. An easier packing tip is to pack your super thick liquids like conditioner or a super thick gold bond diabetic lotion in smaller containers because then you'll have more space in that quart size liquid bag. My newest travel hack is for packing jewelry. Now that I'm wearing jewelry again in airports and on airplanes and throughout my vacation, I got this minimalist jewelry organizer. And I do like the little stiff pouch at the end of this roll-up jewelry organizer because it does protect my more fragile, larger earrings that I would wear on vacation. And then I do not have to roll it up and keep it in this shape, taking up space in my suitcase. I can unroll it if I really need the space and pack it somewhat flat. Now there are three important travel tips I want to share with you with how I pack in my personal item bag. I have many videos on that, but I want to share three major travel tips that may help you find it easier to pack. The number one travel tip is that I pack as many travel essentials in my personal item bag as I can. I will put them in pouches. I will pack them in my new seat back pocket organizer. It is for the seat back in the airplane. It packs flat, so I can easily slide that in with my journal and other things that are flat in that personal item bag. And number two travel tip is if there is no room for my cardigan that I wear in the airplane for my airport outfit in case it's cold, or if I want to save it also for sitting on the back deck or taking an evening walk while I'm on vacation, I will drape it over that personal item bag going through the airport, getting on the airplane even, or I can tie it around my waist. Remember my travel tip, do not pack a vest because if you you get hot in Europe, which you will on that train system, or if you get hot at any time, it's just too bulky and they do not tie around your waist when you are hot. And the number three travel tip, I may have to explain it a little bit. Once I am through security, I will move my liquids bag out of my personal item bag where it was easily accessible for airport security. I will move that to my carry-on suitcase for the flight if I know that my order upon being called to board the airplane is going to make sure I have space in the overhead bins. Like if I'm the last group that can enter the airplane, 
they may have to check my suitcase at the last minute because they've run out of overhead bin space, especially in the winter when coats are involved. But for us, as we fly standby most of the time, we don't know if we're getting on until the last second sometimes of some uh, airplanes. So if I don't know for sure that my suitcase is going to have space in the overhead bins, I'm gonna keep my liquids bag in my personal item. And that way I will have it on my person and I don't have to worry about leaks. I feel like when you have liquids that go in the belly of an airplane, even though it's supposed to be pressurized, Maybe it's just the commuter airplanes, like the 50-seater and the 70-seaters in the belly of those airplanes. I feel like that's when something leaks. Uh, that's just a tip and a long explanation of standby life. Oh, and one other tip that I use when I'm packing, I take out my crossbody bag purse once I get through airport security because sometimes the TSA officers even will make you only go through security with two bags, your personal item and your carry-on suitcase. And then I'll use my purse throughout the airport and then before I board the airplane, I remember their rules where you're only allowed a suitcase and personal item bag, I'll pack that crossbody bag inside my personal item bag um, real quick. That's a benefit of taking a waist belt, or if you grew up in the 80s, a fanny pack. You can turn that fanny pack around and nobody knows that you have an extra purse amount of travel essentials getting onto the airplane. There are three other travel tip videos that I will link in the description box for you in addition to the TSA rule video that I'll put right up there. Thank you for your time and have a great trip and have an easy time of packing. You're going to be less stressed because you stressed less when you packed.